Right, okay. A friend of mine, Chris, his friend Gemma lives in Marlow. Gemma is looking after the two people next door. She's got a bag of stuff, random things that need cooking. I'm gonna go around there, pick it up, obviously knock on the door, stand back two meters, pick it up, bring it back here, see what it is and cook it. I have no idea what's in the bag. Let's go and find out. Gemma's bag. So we have in here two chicken legs left from a pack of four. There's two left chicken legs, not the left hand side, not two left. It is funnily enough, two left chicken legs. Polenta, half an onion, some ginger and some garlic, one leek, a tin of condensed milk, 17 almonds, a bottle of gin liqueur, a beautifully tied bouquet garni, three carrots, and that is it. I'm gonna do like a roasted chicken, I think, like roasted chicken legs with some sweet and sour carrots, then some leeks thrown in, put the bouquet garni in, delicious. Uh, polenta, I'm gonna cook out like standard wet Italian polenta, I think, and then set it so that then they can like take it out and fry it. Fairly, I think I'm just gonna put this tin, I might make it into a bit of a mousse, like a, a toffee mousse maybe for pudding. First thing, I'm gonna get a pan, this condensed milk on, I'm gonna stick that on, low heat, bring that up to the boil and cook it out for three, four hours. The chickens, I'm gonna do this lovely kind of roasty chicken thing. In my fridge, I've got one of these packets of gravy. This is red onion and sage gravy, chicken gravy. So this will work with that. Obviously some crumbly stock cubes. I have got Swede, so I'm gonna loan them a little bit of Swede. I've got some onion chutney that I think would go quite nicely through this. Soy sauce, some runny honey, some cumin. Bit of Tabasco here, maybe we'll do a bit with that. Okay, so the first thing, chicken thighs into the pan. So we're just gonna roast them. So they get lovely, lovely color. Right, the Swede, just gonna trim it down. We're gonna cut it to fairly big chunks. So I've got the onion. Just gonna take that little bit of dried out skin off it. I've got a little knob of ginger, I don't mind using that. Four little random cloves of garlic. And the chicken, just trying to get as much colour on it, but nice and even colour. Garlic, I just crush it, and that makes it easier to peel. I think the onion, just going to do it slices. Garlic, just randomly chop it up, not too fine. And a just little knob of ginger, chop that up as well. Now it's not going to have a big gingery flavour, but what it does do is give a nice little undertone of taste. And I'm going to peel my carrots. I'm going to chop them as well. About the same size as my sweets. Say so the thing about leeks is they contain bits of dirt in them. So you've got to give them a good wash, all right? So they're in a bowl. Just going to give them a rinse under cold water, get rid of some of this dirt. And we're going to use those at the last minute. We're going to come back to those. Take them out of the pan once they're coloured. Okay, we'll put them to one side. Then into the pan right now. You're gonna put the carrots, okay? So this is a good way of driving that flavor from carrots, getting lovely caramelization on them. And you're frying them in that lovely flavor that comes from the oil and that little bit of chicken fat that's come from the skin. But into it, we've got some honey, we've got some soy sauce, we've got some cumin, and that's it for spice. And it gets some milk, bring that up to the boil to cook with the polenta packet. Like every other fridge, I've got a half used tub of butter, a little bit of milk left in one container, the milk, a little bit of double cream, butter. We're going to bring that up just to a gentle simmer and then we're going to cook the polenta out in that. And these carrots are beginning to roast up lovely. Look, that is the sort of colour we're looking for, that's what we want. Into that I'm going to put the ginger and the garlic that I just chopped and the sliced onions. Give it a good stir. The onions are caramelising. The ginger, the flavours are coming out of it. And into that, I put this lovely diced swede that I had as well. So this is forming the base here when it's nice and warm. I'm gonna put in a little dust of the cumin, okay? I'm gonna put runny honey and about, I suppose, a tablespoon. We're gonna let it begin to get to the point it will draw all the waters and the moistures out of those vegetables. And what that's doing is giving this incredible base flavour in this pan. And it's just standard normal ingredients. I haven't done anything different here. Pinch of salt, crap black pepper, spoonful, this, onion chutney, 
Now, soy sauce. So I'm going to reduce it down, chuck in that lovely bouquet garni that the guys gave me. We'll put packet gravy and we'll bring it up to the boil. Then onto that, we're now going to put our chicken legs back on top, all right? And then at this point, as it's getting really hot and bubbly, I'm going to put tin foil lid on it and it's going to go into the oven for about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And the lid's quite important because you don't want that gravy to reduce down to be any thicker just yet. It's at 200 degrees. Let's get it done in. Okay, when it comes out, we're going to add the leeks to it. But until that point, we're going to leave them. Now into the milk, just melting the butter and the double cream. I'm going to stick in the crumbly veg stock. So you can see in there, all the veg stock has melted down. We're just going to add the polenta. Now this polenta, a little bit, goes a long way, all right? Normally what you do is you read the packet and measure it. But the one thing you want to do is not stand still. You want to keep stirring it. Don't get bored, just keep going with it. In an ideal world, you put truffle and parmesan and mascarpone and however, we're not in an ideal world, are we? Pilgrim's Choice only becomes Tom's Choice. Grated a lump, Pilgrim's Choice. And here, you see my polenta thickening and cooking. So you want to keep cooking it out for quite a while because the more that you think, yeah, no, it needs more, it needs more, it, it's absorbed. And the more you cook it, the thicker it becomes. And so just don't let it catch or stick to the bottom of the saucepan. You can see that's thickening now. I'm just going to add a little squeeze of lemon juice to it. And then I'm going to add in my grated cheese. It's going to whisk in until it melts. Time, oregano goes in now, okay? A little stir. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in and set it in the tub. But I'm going to line it with cling film so that the guys that Gemma's cooking for can just take it out, cut it into a block and fry it in a pan or bake it in an oven. Put it in the fridge. Do not put the lid on it. You put a lid on it, it causes condensation. You don't want that. And this has been in for half an hour. Lovely. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to gently lift out the chicken legs they're cooked and then at this point I'm going to add our washed leeks. These guys are raw because these will cook when Gemma's next door neighbours reheat it. Okay, I'm going to send it back to him in a nice Tupperware. Well, a Tupperware. And look at that. From those three carrots and half a swede, got this beautiful rich chicken stock like stew. I'm going to make a lovely pudding as well. So that's it. Right then, the condensed milk, boiled it, cooked it up, four hours. Ended up with that kind of like toffee sauce style stuff. I'm going to turn this into a kind of like a toffee mousse. I've got here a little bit of uh, double cream. It was 125 mils and I'm going to whisk it up. And literally, we're going to mix all of this together. It's kind of like toffee mousse. Now into that, I'm going to put a splash of this plum gin thing. Nice quite thick, relatively firm peaks. Grater and an orange, right? Just a little bit of orange. We're just gonna get depth of flavor into this. And here, I've got some custard, ready cooked, three tablespoons. Now the almonds that the guys gave me, I'm just gonna chop them. All these things need using up. They taste lovely, but they've got a bit of crunch to them and they work really nicely for texture. They go in, and then the whipped cream. Stir it together make this lovely mousse. I'm going to pour this mousse. I really do hope that makes them happy. I shall be taking that back to them. Let's hope they like it. So if you have anything in your fridge that you want cooked, any ideas, please send me a picture, photographs, tweet me, Instagram me, and let me know what the kids want to eat. We'll cook with kids. I will have a go at cooking it, I'll have a go at answering it. We will do whatever we can to showcase food that you've got at home. 